Hey guys, it's Christine and welcome to another workout. Uh, thanks for joining me and working out with me. Um, today we are doing another silent hit. So again, perfect for people who live in an apartment and um, don't want to make a lot of noise with uh, jumping for the people below them. So pretty much everything's going to be as silent as possible. There's not going to be any jumping. And uh, this workout is also going to be strength focused, which is another thing that you guys have been asking for more of. So a silent strength focused hit workout is what we're doing today. It's going to be 30 minutes. We've got 10 different exercises. We're going to repeat them three times. So um, 50 seconds work, 10 seconds rest, and uh, we're just going to power through it. Um, you will need some equipment. I'm using a couple different weights. You, I'm sure you all know which weights I have. <laughs> and uh, I've got my 20-pound um, kettlebell, and I've also got this barbell uh, or dumbbell that I've um, loaded up with um, 20 pound, or 32 pounds I'm going to be using for a few exercises and then um, I've also got this ball and I'll be using the ball for a couple things. Now um, you can't really do this workout without some kind of weight. You're going to need some kind of weight otherwise it won't be challenging enough. Um, unless you're a complete beginner then you could do it without the weight. Um, so I'm going to show you what to do if you don't have a ball, just for those two intervals where we will need the ball. So I just want to show you this move because this is a new one. So if you do have the ball, you're going to be doing this and we're doing, um, it's, I don't know what they're called, hip, like they're like uh, hamstring rollout things. Uh, sorry, I don't know what they're called, I forget. Anyway, so you're going to put your, your um, feet on the ball. And then you're going to lift up your hips as high as possible and you're going to just roll it in and roll it out, keeping your hips as high as possible the whole time. And you want to do a nice controlled movement, okay? So if you don't have a ball, okay, if you're a complete beginner, um, you're going to start with this. You're just going to put your feet on the ground and you're just going to lift and lower. That's it. If you want, you can kind of like switch. Do a few with one leg and then switch, or just lift and lower with both legs on the ground, squeezing your glute every time, getting your hips up as high as possible. Okay, so that's what you're going to do if you're a beginner. Um, if you're more advanced and you don't have a ball, what you're going to do is get something to slide on. I'm using this towel here, and we're going to do a similar move. You're going to lift up your hips, and then you're going to slide out and in, keeping your hips up as high as possible, nice controlled movement. This is a pretty advanced move, so if you're not, you know, experienced, don't do this one. Um, and if you have lower back problems, be careful or don't do this, do something else. So just out and in. Okay, so the other exercise that um, requires the ball is one of my favorite ab ones and it's the um, ball pass. So I'm just going to start like this and just pass the ball back and forth. So if you don't have a ball, I suggest you just um, do kind of like a sit up, reach for your opposite foot, opposite arm, opposite foot. Try to keep your legs straight. I'm just not flexible enough yet. And then, okay, so just do that instead of the ball pass if you don't have a ball. Okay, I think that's it. We are going to get going. So let me just start my timer. Okay, timer's going. And first exercise is when we're going to walk into a plank and then do a commando plank. So plant your hands, get down. Now you're going down, down, up, up. Walk it back. Reach it up. Okay, other side with the commando plank. Down, down, up, up. Walk it back. Reach it up. I want you to go as fast as you can here. Let's get the heart rate up. We're working our core and our shoulders right now. Come on, keep it going. Last 
last one. Next, we're doing push-up combination, four tricep push-ups, four staggered push-ups. Beginners, do this off of your knees. Tricep push-ups, narrow arms. Elbows go straight back. Now, four staggered push-ups. Back to the tricep push-ups. Wow. Stretch it up if you need. One more. Stagger push-ups. Wow. Those are hard. All right, we've got plie squat walks. Make sure you have a bit of room. And I'm gonna go on to this diagonal here. So toes are turned out, knees are out, and we're gonna walk it forward for four, or however many steps you have room for, and then back. Make sure your toes stay out. We're working our inner thighs. Keep it going. Get nice and low. It's gonna burn. <laughs> 10 seconds left. I can feel this in my glutes and my inner thighs.
Nice work. Curtsy lunge on the right. Grab your weight. I'm going for the 32 pounder. See how far I get. <laughs> right leg. Lunge it behind, kick it out. Hips stay forward. Strong core. Focus on one spot on the ground. Good 
work. Push-up combo. Four tricep push-ups. Four staggered push-ups. Okay, knees or toes. I'm gonna start with the staggered ones this time. Oh my gosh, really? 20 seconds. Come on, keep going. Oh my god. Keep going. Almost there. Okay, do those burn you as much as they burn me, or am I just a wuss at those ones? They don't look that hard. Kettlebell or dumbbell swings. Flat back. Do not arch your back. Squeeze it up.
guys. We are really working that lower body today. I didn't realize it was gonna be so intense. Curtsy lunge on the right. You grab your weight. Squeeze your glute. Hips stay forward. Try not to lose your balance. But if you do, it's okay. Just get right back into it. Almost there. A few more seconds, five seconds. today. Squeeze. Ten seconds. Thank 
your push-ups. Okay, let's do this.
curtsy lunge. On the right. Okay, last time on the right leg. seconds. One side's easier than the other. Whoa, see? Every time I do that side, it's wobbly. Oh. Curtsy lunge, other leg. This is it. This and our abs, that's it. Two more, two more interval sides, guys. Two more, including this one. with a brief account of what I'm eating today and instead of making a whole video I'll just quickly tell you what I'm eating. Um, so for breakfast I had four large bananas. Um, these are my favorite bananas. Um, as you can see they're a bit rounder than um, the regular bananas. The better um, 
it's better to get a banana that is more round and doesn't have these like really, uh, you know, distinct edges. I don't know if you guys know what I mean, but yeah, it, the rounder it is, it means that it was uh, picked uh, riper. So Anne Osborne taught me that in one of her lectures at the Fruit Festival last year. So um, I always look for the roundest bananas possible. And uh, yes, I love these bananas. I had four of them for breakfast. They're quite large, so yeah. I don't know how many calories. I'm not counting calories today for you guys because I'm in a rush, sorry. Okay, and then for lunch, after my workout, I had um, six of these mangoes. And uh, so it's my friend's birthday today and uh, I'm taking her to the spa for a leg massage. After that workout, I need a leg massage. And, uh, and then we're gonna go in the mineral pools and just uh, relax for a bit. And then later we're gonna have a little fruit party. So here's what I'm bringing to the fruit party. I'm bringing a bowl of mango, grapes, and bananas. And um, this is a really nice combo. I really love eating these together. It's super juicy and yummy. And I'm also going to bring a bowl of melon. I've got some watermelon and some cantaloupe in here, so we should be set. And then also, okay, so it's her birthday, and she wanted a black forest cake. And uh, she eats a lot of fruit. She's not quite as fruity as me, um, but uh, she wanted a black forest cake, and she wanted it mostly raw. And uh, she didn't care about it being high fat or low fat. She just wanted it to be super, like, decadent. So I was like, okay, I'll see what I can do. So... I made her a raw-ish, sort of raw, black forest cake. And isn't it pretty? Yeah. So what the crust is, is basically uh, it's oats, dates, uh, cacao, and pecans, and, uh, and an apple. Uh, if anybody's interested, I could probably write the, de write the recipe in the, in the description. But um, I don't, I wouldn't generally eat this kind of thing. This isn't really, this is kind of like a cheat meal, you know. I don't normally eat this kind of stuff anymore. Um, and then the, uh, the white layer is coconut whipped cream. So you can make whipping cream out of uh, coconut milk. So that came in a can and that's not raw. Um, but the cherries are raw. <laughs> the cherries are from my parents' tree. Oh wait, no, I don't think these ones are. Well, they're, they're raw. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so I'm just going to have a really small piece of this cake because it is not low fat, but it is going to be very delicious, I'm pretty sure. So I'll just have a tiny piece, and um, I, I won't overload it on the fat. So, yeah, some people do better with um, a little more fat. Some people do better with, like, really low fat. I'm good around, like, I'd say, like, 10 to 15% fat is good for me. My friend Denise eats more fat, she eats a bit more nuts, and I don't know. Yeah, like John Kohler and uh, Tim Van Orden, they eat a higher fat diet too. Not high fat, but a little bit higher. They're like at about 20%, I think. So it varies. As long as it's relatively low, um, everybody's a little bit different. I just love this cake. <laughs> so yeah, I hope it's going to taste good. I know it's going to taste good. And... Um, yeah, that's it. Oh, and one thing, you're probably like, Christine, you're not eating any greens. And yes, I know. And generally, I eat greens, a large amount of greens, every single day. Um, but today's an exception. And like once in a while, if I'm not eating a huge salad, that's okay. I'm not going to die or suffer or anything. I'm going to be just fine. So, but yeah, I do eat greens pretty much every single day and a large amount of them. So if I'm just eating fruit one day, then it's not a big deal. So that's it. All right. Hope you enjoyed my little food log and I'll see you guys next week. Okay. Bye guys.